Alrighty, what good people. I think I need a drink to clear my sinuses though. I think we did skip the cutscene too, didn't we? Because they usually do this whole thing where like they show old like 13th century, you know, fancy pictures and telling you about like, oh, and so the king once his last got betrayed by his brother. His brother is evil, as you can see on this very picture right now. And on the third day, when the stars begat Joseph the third, and Joseph the third begat the fourth, the fifth. You know, it reminds me of that time I actually tried to read the Bible when I was a kid, and holy shit. Like, you could almost barely get any information out of that shit. <laughs> Like, most of the time, it's like, oh, this person gave birth to that person, and that happened, and that happened. Like, maybe if they added more details that, into the situations, or not just tell us a whole family lineage, that'd be great. But instead, that's what they want to do, so it's like, okay. You know, maybe maybe people were different back then. <laughs> they, they, they cared about stuff like that more. Yeah, I'm gonna grab myself some more shoes. I, oh, maybe tea. Maybe tea might clear me out. So, I mean, I might get the hiccups, but I'd rather have the hiccups than have nose problems. So, I mean, I might be going, like, you know, just from this, but. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure, like, five videos ago. I was suffering from allergies. Yeah, I think we were walking up to a town. I was like, "Oh, my nose!" So I mean, deja vu. All right, shit. We're gonna need to go into crouch mode, ASAP. Uh, I put myself at a dangerous spot. I think we have to fight three people, and I could just run away, but I choose not to. I would like to loot my uh, ally, and then sneak up to the rest of the dudes and take them out one by one. I mean, if we're lucky, they might just stand in a line. Or maybe I can follow them. See where they go. And then if one gets distracted and the other one goes, I want to go this way. I need to watch out in case there's other people. Perhaps we should venture in the cave. Like, you know, just stab in the cave. Stab. Stab. I'm sure this would be a lot better during nighttime, though, but eh. Oh, oh, wow, they put me all the way back here? Dang. Alright. Uh, let's see. I think last time to get this thing going, I believe I did some talking and whatnot. Oh, shit. That's right, they keep putting me in scout sometimes. Yeah, so we need to head to uh, this spot here. Or, what was this? Talk to the bathhouse wench, Ricky is seeing. So we could do that, or maybe I can talk straight to the father. So, I mean, either way, the quest kind of leads that way anyway. And I think the first time I got here, I just kind of parked right in the middle of the city and went, okay. <laughs> oh, this guy's just chilling. Now, what are you doing? Oh, you're a guard. Uh, okay. And then here is his dad. Since I've already done most of the quest already, we can just kind of plow through some of the shit. And I kind of wonder if, like, maybe I don't have to ask uh, Riki as many questions as I did before. Like, I'm I'm down with what information we can get. I don't really care. And yeah, we can talk to him. You. Uh, Riki. Haha! Ah, <laughs> there we go. Objective started. It's important. Yeah. Phoenix shows up. Uh, who are his friends? You at least know, as far as I know. I heard he said maybe. Heh. <laughs> uh, I'm an envoy of Sir Rezzy. Uh, Henek is in trouble. This worked last time. That's not new. But this time is not. Oh, there we go. Work together. I think doing good things actually makes yeah, it, it makes more successful, which is nice. Well, it's not much to. Yeah. Uh, poacher's hideout. I really. How's that? Because every time. Yeah. Um, 
I need to know more. Uh, make an effort. <laughs> yeah, being straight up with this guy. Straight up. Yeah, yeah. All right. Um, Ricky was selling poach came in. Keep rush. Go check that out. Okay. Ricky. Very busy. Uh, yep, yeah, that's that then. Alrighty. Let's check what the, the quest is for me to do now. Uh, now we're over here. The hell? Alright. So talk to the bathhouse wench. Uh, Riku is selling poach game, blah blah blah. See, I think that after I talked to the dad, we went straight to the innkeeper. Yep. <laughs> I just wish I didn't have my prisoner uh, issues. Because then I'd probably be able to do a little bit more. You know, maybe I'd be more sneaky. Or I think conspicuousness actually just goes up. Because we're. Yeah, it's actually on 21. So, like, my, my true stats aren't really showing. Because I've been in trouble. So, I mean, if I wanted to, I could probably go into a bed and maybe sleep for a little bit. You know, we're dealing with an innkeeper after all, so maybe I can sleep for a bit. Either or. Let's just hop this fence. Fuck it. I'm in a hurry. So here, I think this is some of the bandits right here. And I kind of want to just attack them right hey, now. Hey, Stab! Here. Who was that you killed, <laughs> you brute? Where are you taking him? Help! There's a corpse Call here! That combat. Uh oh. Oh Over shit. There. Oh boy. Oh shit. Ha. Ha. Okay, let me out. Shit. Well, that I'm out of here. Ha. Ah. Run, 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 run. Uh. Ah, fuck. <laughs> Guard. Hey, you. Holt. Yep. Yes. Mother of God. You murdered someone. Hoi man hoi. You shit. You dead. It's jail. Uh oh, straight to jail, huh? Okay. And apparently uh the speech thing says plus 3, so let's try it. You make it half fuck. Ha. Damn it. Jail. Just. Uh fine. I literally just got out of jail too. Damn. <laughs> Fuck. Poor shit. As Henry would say. Actually, no, I think he would say, oh, bollocks. You know, because English. Or uh, I think one of the other favorite things is like, oh, balls. <laughs> Gotta be a way to like break out of jail though, isn't there? Like I press up, down, left, right, maybe. Huh? No buttons I can click. All right. I was just seeing maybe there was a way to do it. Like you know, you can just pop up in your cell and be like, "Hello!" Like I, guard, I swear there's a rat in my cell. I can't seem to kill it, and I need you to stab with your sword. Okay, well you're staying in the corner. I'm gonna take care of this rat. And then right when he does that, you just go. Knock out, take your shit, walk out. <laughs> Damn. Four fucking days. But, I mean, if the bandits are still gonna be there, there might be less people after us, or maybe they'll be like, oh, like, did you already take them out, Toy Benoy? Because, <laughs> like, imagine how easy this quest is if nobody shows up to the fight. Because I'm pretty sure that these three bandits that are here, or the people who attacked me, are the people who were involved with the the ambush that I was worried about, that I was going to fight in. Because I'm pretty sure those were the three guys involved. Now, let's say we go back to that very same innkeeper spot. I actually wonder if, you know, maybe there's a time limit for when Ricky can be saved, or... You know, maybe they're gonna do a thing here where, you know, uh, there's actually a different NPC that pops up to attack us. I mean, I'm pretty sure they're gonna send three anyway. 
but if this is the case, I would love to see uh, like a dead end ambush. Be like, oh well, there's, there's only one guy, and it'd be like, oh my boys were killed. You know, like give me like an entirely different outcome, because that's what this game's been doing. Like anything that you do, there's like there's a different outcome. Like if you think that there's something wrong, there there can always be some kind of right. Like if you think like, oh, like I failed the quest, like th this is it, like I, I have to redo my quest now, I I'm stuck. No. Let's say somebody important dies, you can move on to the next thing. Or you can read up on what to do and carry on to the next mission. Investigate a murder, but your only witness died? Just ask around different towns. Find libraries, talk to other guards. Talk to villagers, pass by, listen to rumors. Read up books, go into people's houses. You know, pretty nice. Yeah, but here comes my last geo time. But I might be doing this quite a bit, considering that I want to take out every bandit that's going to be here. And I kind of wonder if the body of the other guy is still there, because I would like to take a shit. Especially that guy with the hood, because uh, if I could take him out, I'd be so happy. So uh, he had cool armor. Unless if this is the same bandits that were at that other camp I was at before, and this is just like their hangout and you know even after beating that quest like this is just where to go because they've respawned if that's even the thing and man let me go already it's the longest hour in the game like I'm already 11 minutes in my video fuck I was expecting things to go quicker than this oh well there's a tiny happening why have I been doing it I don't even know if I have any food do I let me see. Uh, I do not. There's nothing. There's a tiny happening today. You can sign up with a herald. Wait, did they throw me all the way back in the main town? Like in Rite? What? Wow, I'm all the way out here. What the fuck? Wow. Wow. Oh, this is dumb. Wow, uh, I probably should have just ran away. Fuck. Because I, I, th I think we have that, like, not-so-recognized bug to where, like, you know, until I walk right up to somebody or if they see me commit a murder, then yeah. Or, like, maybe I can commit something, manage to run away, escape, you know, probably bounce between trees and shit. But from what I've noticed is that most guards, NPCs, everybody in general, they have, like, hyper speed or some shit. It's weird. So, like, it doesn't even matter if you, you know, try to run away. Like, half the time, unless there's a lot of debris in the way and structures and stuff, anyone's going to be on your ass. And that sucks. Mm. I have to eat something. My insides are shriveled up with the hunger. Shriveled up with the hunger? Uh, how about you end what? It's dirty, I'm busy, ma. Na 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 na, suck a walk on nipple pinchy. But yeah, I think we're just gonna run. I'm pretty sure that there was a route here on this side that leads to this place. Yeah, I don't really want to call my horse because, you know, not, not until I'm on flat ground like down there. So, I mean, we, we gotta get over that way. Yeah, shit. Come on. Really? I'm about to fall and get hurt. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, I literally hear the crunch on my bones just going. <laughs> yeah. Now my dude's suffering from hunger and <laughs> and he's injured. Yeah, well, and we did it again. We're probably down to like 60 health now. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, let's go a little bit further down. more of these little jumpy jumps. It's probably why it might be better just to like sneak down these hills sometimes because then our footing would be just a little bit better instead of like sliding and goofy shit because apparently the, the, the physics for going down hills is kind of realistic. You actually go faster. You uh, 
There's a lot of realism. <laughs> oh shit. I'm about to die from hunger or some shit. But um, yeah, I'm gonna call the horse and try to see if we can hurry up and get that person's body or not. Come on, horse. There you are. Hi, boy. Pebbles. About to call you the rock. Yeah. Okay, any day now. I wish they would make riding a horse a little bit easier. But I, I think the way this game works is like you're supposed to get better over yeah. time. So it's like, you know, once you level up and things, like that type of stuff gets easier. It's like the way it would go in a normally in a different game. It starts going that way once you level up more. It's kind of weird, but it's an easy yeah. concept. It's like you have to train yourself to become talented. You can't just be talented. You know? It doesn't work that way. <sighs> Let me see. So yeah, I remember this town. Yeah. And there's a good bit of gap here. Uh, what is this? Yeah. Was this supposed to go the other way? Uh, fuck balls. Yeah. Was it that? Nah. Yeah. It wasn't that. I, I think it was this way. Or something. I mean, this is more towards the yeah. river. So that's good. And then once we talk to the innkeeper, though, we're going to be told where to go. And I, I know right where Ricky is. So, yeah. we'll be fine. Yeah, this is definitely the way. I know the way. There we go. I had a feeling if I was spinning circles a little bit after hitting a couple of hills, I would start heading the right way at some point, and I was right. Awesome. Speed. Also, to keep stealth, I might even get my horse kind of involved in the fight in some way. So I might put the horse between me, Ricky, and the uh, evil men. More evil than I am, apparently. Yeah. I mean, they didn't murder the whole town, but haven't we done the same? Yeah. I really wish that there was like a little bit more immersion, like maybe an option like to work with these guys, maybe. Cause I mean, I know it's pretty fucked up, but I'm down. You know, they're they're up my alley. <laughs> We don't have to be the good guy. Maybe we'll do another playthrough and I could maybe do something like that if that is an option somewhere down the line. But, yeah. Let's go investigate. Stop. Stay away from people if you can't ride a horse, you moron! <laughs> Isn't this one of the, the bandits? Fearless Felix. Man, Mr. Uh, Dead Man, though, is nowhere to be seen. Of course, we got the innkeeper here. Hello. I think we gave him money last time. I want to ask an ass uh -huh. else. He only drives my car. Really? Who are you? A friend of him. I don't know where he <laughs> I have no time for evasions. Buying from poachers is a crime. Bit of coin. You're established. Oh, so I'll just Aha. Aha. Yeah, and I'll give you maximum. We have a lot of gold, so here you go. Here's almost a hundred. That ought to do it. Uh. I hear. Oh, oh, how do you know? I know. Blah blah blah. blah. How much? Da, 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 da. And do you know? When I, when I was wasn't You're recording, welcome. I went through all of this. Find the disused mine shaft. Yep. Cool. Alrighty. So, uh, yeah. Once we get to this place, though, I'm gonna go ahead and save. I kinda know yeah. where it's at. Just need to get up this hill. I, I think the horse can probably head the same way I went. You know, if I'm able to do it, the horse can too. And once we get there, we'll save, we'll pop back in, and hoi manoi. 
Oh my god. Come on, horse. And you hear some knocking noises. It's not these bandits or even Ricky. It's actually, there's like a weird, um, there's like a well. Or not really a well, but it's like a pulley system around the, uh, there's like a little stream. I should be getting really, really hungry. We got a combination of sleepy too, so. Rut row. I probably should have stole some food or bought something, but. Yeah, my problem is that I keep buying, I mean, selling my food too, whenever I get some. So, after being to jail so many times, it's like, yeah, we need to eat. <laughs> Fuck. But, yep, I recall going around here, and then I uh, came across the, um, the, the well, or not the well, but the, uh, the cave. And one thing to let you know that you're close to it is you hear the knocking thing. Like that. Like when we hear that, it means we're close. Yeah, this looks familiar. Isn't this my... This, this must be my place, yep. And I think that's actually the rock that we hide behind. I think. Let me see. Let's park my horse here. All right, pebbles. Let me see. Because I'm pretty sure this is the rock. Yeah, yes it is. <laughs> yep, this is the place. All right. So let's, uh, oh. let's go ahead and save after I check how much health I got. We'll go ahead and log out, pop back in. Let's see, so we got 89 at the moment. And my visibility and stealth is fine. We're going to be hungry as balls, but that's okay. Yeah, so as long as we have opportunity to assassinate, then we'll be fine. But one problem though is like I would like to try to like hide behind a rock, uh, let Ricky die, and then once I can get like a slight glimpse of these dudes like walking away or something else, then that'd be great. I've actually tried to run away, and that didn't work, and when I came back, uh, there was no Ricky, there was no men to fight, uh, there wasn't nothing. That was weird. There was no bandits, no Ricky body. Everything was gone because they despawned. So I'm guessing to get anything that's of theirs or even to get the fight with them, we have to stay within the vicinity. So what I'm hoping is maybe like they start walking around or to go into the cave and like one goes to the far end of the cave to look around and you know, investigate a little bit and then one stays guarding the front of the cave and then the other one kind of walks around and goes, oh, I'm just kind of go out of here and also take a piss, you know. There's probably nobody here, just about the fact that there was only one Ricky and not some kind of ally, so, you know, surely we could take a leak and mind our own business. You know, so, yeah. Because I've already caught a couple NPCs doing that, like, they actually used the restroom in this game. Or not really used the restroom, but they, they do handle their business. I have not encountered somebody taking a shit, but you can sit in the stall. There, there is like porta potties type stuff. Or outhouses, I should say. But back in this time period, like, you know, I've, you've gone in the country, they usually still have these. So like instead of a toilet and you know, a water flush, all that, uh, you would just have this huge hole dug in the ground, and then you basically shit into that hole. So it'd be like, let's say this cave, it would be like you dug a hole on top of it, and you just. You shat in the cave until it was full, and then maybe shovel your way out or something. something. I don't know. Let's skip all that. All right, buddy. Let's speak. Uh, they're coming for you. you. That's a good job. I they killed your friend, Blue Bottom. Ah, why do you? If you don't want to end up like, and how will that? If they come to a bad end, they fine. That Neuhoff raided. What do you mean? There were two. When you realize it. But we didn't. Yeah. They told us to. I spoke up. If you guys actually want to pay attention to this, then, uh, you know, you're, you're welcome to. Uh, it's new, uh, right? I guess you have, have to actually done. There was get all the information what? here. What? Yeah. Uh, new half raid. Uh, oh. described the raid in detail. Ha la la la. Holy dialogue. And to think that I'd listened to all that this morning, holy shit. 
Yep. Uh, 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 First camp. Da -da -da -da. Do you know about Runt's men? I guess Runt's probably the same guy who attacked me. Uh, where to me and Pius? Yep, so that leads to the next quest. Uh, Runt's gang. Uh, tell me about Runt. Let's do back. And what now? What? Uh, I'm taking you to Rete. I'll finish you here now. It would be best if you vanish. You know, if we can tell him to get away, then we can probably, you know, keep him out. It might be best if you disappear. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. I'll remember this till the you day deserve it, man. You know, you from know. from one criminal to another, like you know, run, run away, man. Go become a farmer. You know, do do something that uh, makes you happy. My question is, though, can I just pull it? <laughs> we can totally just pull up and fight him. It's amazing. I actually wondered, like, if um, uh, would this actually make things different? Let me let me see. <laughs> Uh, okay, so inquire after Timmy at the windmill. I'm gonna walk right up to him and take him out. Stab. <laughs> Sorry, Ricky. Uh, I want your loot, man. Alright. Let's see what you got. Uh huh. Not bad. Not too shabby, sir. And let me actually see if he has anything to eat before we keep going. Let's see, sleep and save. There's an apple. Let's probably eat that. Just want to run around a little bit. Is that a treasure map? Oh, no. But yeah, we definitely should eat that. Uh, I think he might have a few apples in that bunch, too. Maybe it's not just one. Oh, he got 16. Wow. Holy shit, bro. I'm, I'm going to get fully fed. <laughs> wow. Uh, look at that. Wow. I think we sold this bread, so we we'll just eat that too. Yeah, awesome, sweet. So this is what it looks like over here, huh? What even is this? Oh, it's a cave mushroom. Neat. It's probably the first thing I ever harvested in this game, like looting wise. Um, but yep, yeah, let's actually go out here see those bandits still pop up. I think it's because I ambushed them. Like, at least one of them. Maybe they might not attack. Or maybe just only one. Or two. But let's take a look. There's my horse. Just carefully look around. Now, should we die, we can always reload. Okay, that's strange. I think it's because I did, like, a different dialogue before. That's why there's nobody here. Weird. Strange how a simple choice can change the outcome entirely. Because there were supposed to be three ambushers. What the fuck? I think it's because I did ambush them. Huh. Ambush the ambushers and suddenly everything goes to shit. Odd. <laughs> okay. Uh, but yep, that's the quest. Uh, I found out from Ricky that another one of the bandits who raided Neohob was apparently hiding out in the windmill south of Mary Hojad. Okay. Now, uh, where is this at? Ah, that's that, uh, little village that had the windmill. Yeah, I need to head back to Windmill Town. Okay. And I think I'm, yeah, we're over here. So, let me just think, you know, if I look at this route, like, left, uh, kind of the cave, I can use that as, like, a northeast I mean, northwest type of thing. So, yeah, we'll just head uh, this yeah. direction, yep. And it doesn't matter if we end up at the right or oh, fine. Right or wrong way. No, yeah. As long as we end up in some direction that's kind of north out, that's fine with me. See, so, yeah, here's that bang, and that's actually just the, uh, yeah. you know, the water thing I was telling you about. Yeah. So, yeah, very odd, though. I mean, we took out Ricky, which is fine. You know, we pretended to. You know, tell him, like, oh, yeah, you're free. And I just stabbed him in the back on the way out. Took a shit. Awesome. I'll probably do the same thing with the next guy, too. And the other ones. Horsemanship perk. I suppose I'll take my perks. Why not? Maybe I learned something new. 
Oh, we did. Wow. Yep, horsemanship now has a new perk. Your horse is faster but carries less weight. Can't be combined with heavy. Uh, your horse can carry more but is slower. Okay, yep, I'd better have this because I'm usually over encumbered anyway. Yep, so now this means, like, you know, if I have a lot of inventory, it'll be able to handle me a little bit easier. Yep. And I still don't know if I'm heading the right way or not, but cool. Uh, let's see, constellation cross. Uh, where, where am I? Let me see. Oh, is, it, is this where we are? Ah! Oh. Okay, so I ended up heading north north. Let me see, where's that cross at? Ah, oh, shit. I think I flew right by it super fast. Fuck. <laughs> um, well, I hope that there's two roads that connect to that. Let me check my map. Because, uh, there's a road to the left and a road to the right. It looks like a double. So, something tells me that. I have to ignore both of these and head in this direction instead. Yeah. You know, more towards the opening. Yeah. That might be better anyway. That kind of see more land, see more butts. You okay, know, where is this? Yeah. It's definitely not Windmill Town, but I think that's Windmill Town up ahead. Yeah, yes, it is. Awesome. Burned out farm. Really? I suppose we can stop here another time. We, yeah. There's no rush. Let's go to the uh, windmill town and we'll rush there at least. You know, we won't rush with this, but we'll rush with uh, the quest. I would like to get this done because you know I was struggling because I, I I messed up with the scribe and I think that I did something else wrong in the beginning. Oh, that's right. The priest was supposed to tell us stuff. Yep. Oh, well, what the fuck? Should I save? Yeah, we're gonna save. <laughs> I, I, I would hate to lose all my stuff if I get attacked by a human and he's like OP as fuck. Yeah. Now we were playing regular mode and I could easily just save the game and we'd be done, but nope, we have to save and exit every time. You know, th this is the punishment that we must take if we wish to save a lot. You know, but to be honest, it's, it's kind of a fair deal. You know, this game has their own independent way of saving. So, it's cool. Uh, it may be tedious and annoying, but every game has their own annoying thing, and that's what makes it good, because, you know, that's its own type of thing. Uh, a lot of people think that uh, everything in the game needs to be fun and great 24-7, but we don't like things that are perfect, right? So, imperfections usually are nice, and especially when you interact with a person, that like you accept all of them. You actually tell them, like, oh, I love you and I love all, all about you. Same thing with me and my girlfriend. But, you know, it's a lot of problems that I have, and she has less problems than I do, but, yeah. To, from my perspective, she's more mature, uh, can focus more in situations better than I can. I'm a little bit more like jump the gun and be angry type. You know. So, I have a lot to work on, but I'm, I'm getting mature as time goes on. So, I'm happy about that. Like, I remember if, uh, if I was mad at a game when I was, like, 18, like, I would break my controller or throw it or grip it really tightly. And that's how I went through, like, maybe four or five controllers. But with the way I am now, a lot more calm, collected. If I'm mad, I, I punch something else. I don't break my items that I find important. You know, so instead, we, uh, you know, refocus that we, we even mature. What the? Oh, shit. Are these wolves? Oh, shit. What the fuck? Oh. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh. Oh, wow. Wow. What the shit? Where did he come from? Wow. <laughs> what is that, like a bandit or something? I didn't even get to see who it was. 
I almost felt like I was playing multiplayer for a minute, but there's no multiplayer in this game. Jeez. Uh, is that how my victims feel? <laughs> I'm just like, ah, don't hurt me. I, I was trying to get back on my horse. What the fuck? Yeah. Let's just try to ride a little bit away. Not coming up to me, is he? Because what I want to do... I'm going to try this. Let's put Mr. Horse over here. I wish there was a third person mode in this game, but there ain't. Let's see, Mr. Dead Man was over there. And maybe and hopefully I can kind of circle around here and try to find this guy. I like he was kind of here. Maybe hiding in the trees or some shit. What the fuck? Where is he? Well, I mean, if we die again, we die again. But if I can locate him, that'd be great. Honestly, he was hiding in the bushes and shit. Oh, there he is. He have oh, this is it multiple people? What? What the hell? Look at that. That's like two or three dudes. Wow. Yeah, I don't think I can handle that. Fuck. Hmm. Ah, fuck balls. I mean, I could probably ignore it, but... That dog hear me? the dog. Let's probably take out the sword man first. Oh fuck, dude, run! Dude, stop it! Get away, man. Ah, fuck. Damn it. Ah, oh, where's my sword, man? Come on! Pull your sword out! Do it! Ah, oh, you fucker. Yeah, we're gonna ignore them. This game is so slow, dude. Like, you have to pull out your sword ahead of combat. Just to fucking get out. But meanwhile, like, all the NPCs can just go... Rrr! But, like, for me, like, I don't know if it's my controller or what. Like, maybe just... This one's just too old now. Something, but like, you know, when I'm sitting still and I'm in stealth mode, I can pull out my weapons whenever I want. Like, I bet you right when we load back in, I can yank out my bow, my sword, like, you know. And I was spamming that left button, man. Like, that, that was dumb. So, yep, yeah, let's hop off the horse again. Alright. Look at that. I tap, I tap the button. I hold it. It's a torch. So, at least something happened. Let me double check. Maybe I, maybe I don't have it equipped. Maybe it was stolen. Ah, uh, yeah, that's the thing. It's not equipped. Ah. Uh, see, that's my problem. Let's get the wounding arrow. Or maybe the hunting arrow, yep. Uh, let's see. Q and bow. And we have a sword called needle. So at least now we have my weapon on me. That's nice. Yeah, I'm gonna go around these guys. Yeah. Fuck. Damn bandits. Fucking ass hats. So I wasn't expecting such a deadly uh, situation so fast. It came out of nowhere. It took me off my horse and everything. It doesn't seem like we can just pull off the horse either. Sadly. Uh, but yeah, let's go investigate. And this is actually the area I took out everybody in, so I wonder if everybody's still gone or what. Or maybe they respawn people now. Villager. Hello. What are you here for? Looking for Timmy. You know Timmy. A complete numbskull? Aye. He works here. Or he used to. I'm not sure. He vanished a few days ago. As far as I know, no one's seen him since. Try asking his sister, Mirka. Oh shit, Mirka. She She's the one who I murdered first. <laughs> shit. 
I mean, she's probably alive now. Yeah, here she is. Even though we did that. A colossus. By the name of Tenny. <laughs> a colossus. I don't know anyone like that. Uh, but the others know him. Someone wants to kill him. Listen, someone wants to kill him. I have to warn him. But what? I don't know what you're talking about. Damn it. Uh. All the others know. But not him. We'll talk. All right. Fine. Now who's that guy though? Dot to me, I could behind a windmill. Now why is there another guy going behind a windmill too, huh? Is this another ambush I'm walking into? Cause I swear to fuck, like I can't seem to outrun any bandit. Like everyone's faster than me. Like, like even if I'm not over encumbered, like you can try to run, but it's just like you know, they got dogs, they got dudes who are very well trained and sprinting and we're not okay well here we are so <laughs> why all this secrecy what do you want from Timmy can you tell me to find him promise me nothing will happen to him why do you care so much he's my brother he's not very smart you see and he's always getting led astray by I mean, I have a dumb buddy too, and so. Now there's some right peculiar characters looking for him. Who are they? I don't know. But they look like cutthroats. I bet you I look like a cutthroat myself. But I didn't tell them anything. <laughs> That's good. But sooner or later they'll find him anyway. Mm. Tell me where he is and I'll take care of him. There's on my TV. What was that? That must be a long story, the fact they need a cutscene for that. God damn. <laughs> How much talking did she do? Oh shit. He's hiding at the Colbin farm over by my head. What? Oh fuck. Hi. Um <laughs> Oh no. Horse. Fuck. Radzik. Radzik. Can I Oh, am I gonna have to fight? Oh, please, no. I get the feeling you're looking for someone here. You I'm want some money? Someone too. Maybe we could help each other. Uh, who are you looking for? You know what? We, I'm actually down to ride her map. Let's do it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to team up with the bandits. Hmm. And who are you looking for? Great big ox by the name of Timmy. <laughs> I'm looking for him too. That's interesting. I'm also looking for a big ox called Timmy. Well, what are the chances? Could it be the same fellow, I wonder? Now, if someone were to tell me where to find Timmy, I might offer that man a We could use a smart fellow like that at the camp. Uh, look, a bandit job. <laughs> I want money. He's in Rete, attack. Uh, huh. I'm gonna go with I want money. All right, I'll tell you where he is. Really? Why would you do that? I like you. We're all Christians here, aren't we? Why not help thy neighbour, especially if he pays two score groschen? Ha! <laughs> you wouldn't be my cousin by any chance. <laughs> I'll give you two dozen, no more. Half now, and half when we find. Sweet him. deal. Deal. All right. Uh. Uh, let's ask more questions. You have an encampment somewhere? Sure we do. And no shortage of coin if you're ready to earn it. Oh so hell yeah, well. dude. Ah, all in good time. First prove we can trust you. Help us find Timmy. I got you, man. I got you. Is that Colbert's farm? Colbert's farm. Back where we started. Are you yanking my pistol? Well, excuse me if I take that with a grain of salt. But. I'll just leave Radan here to keep an eye. For your own protection, you know. Come with us if you've got a stomach for it. If not, come and find us in the Samapesh Tavern when it's all over. Or we'll find you. Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. Oh-ho. Uh -huh. So this is my guy, huh? Ha 
All right. Now where'd they go? I think they went this way, right? Yep. See if I can pick them off one by one. <laughs> Oh shit. Maybe I wasn't stealthy enough. But we did take out the first guy, however. That was cool. I'm guessing we probably should have approached a little bit better on that. Or maybe I could talk to one of them and then distract them. And then be like, oh yeah, hi, I'm just here to say hello. <laughs> you know, that, that seems to be an educational guess. But yeah, that's pretty cool that I can do that. And there's a long way from here to the next town, after all. Yep. I I'm down to actually answer this thing the same way, too. Also, to help keep me, uh, or to keep them confined to where I am. Or maybe to slow them down a little bit. I'm actually gonna put my horse in the way. See if that helps at all. I don't know if it will, but if it does. Some way, shape, or form. Sounds awesome. Put it right on that highway. Because I think they take this main route here that crosses into several. And yep, this little bridge right here. And it looks like they go this way. So we'll put Mr. Horse right where we died. Yep. <laughs> Alright. So yeah, I'm gonna go stop here. I'm gonna make it into the next video. So while we save, I'll see you guys next video. We will reload and I'm gonna do this little sneaky, sneaky, sneaky trick. Cause I am a stealth player. Yeah. Hi kitty. How you doing buddy? Uh, but yes, hee <laughs> hee. Evil. Evil I am. I'm more evil than these guys now. <laughs> but I did say I wanna side with them, but eh, I mean... Are we on anyone's side really? No. I wanna take everybody's shit, so. Yeah, peace.